plans for the future in his first State of the Union speech to a joint session of Congress last night. It comes as his administration deals with big challenges domestically and abroad. Russia's invasion on Ukraine was front and center during the address. Chase Befeld joins us this morning with a look at some of the big takeaways. Good morning, Chase. Ladies, good morning, and it's good to be back. In his first State of the Union address, President Biden focused on sanctions against Russia and announced the U.S. will ban Russian airspace or Russian carriers from its airspace. This follows similar moves from Canada and the European Union. Biden also announced plans to continue the vaccine push and make more free COVID tests available available to Americans. The president pushed his tax agenda, including a 15% minimum tax for corporations. But with the war in Ukraine center stage, the president started by addressing Vladimir Putin head on. Putin's latest attack on Ukraine was premeditated and totally unprovoked. He rejected repeated repeated efforts at diplomacy. He thought the West and NATO wouldn't respond, but Putin was wrong. The president also focused heavily on the economy and inflation, which is at its highest levels in decades. He said his administration is looking to lower costs for Americans in areas such as prescription drugs and child care. Last night, some members of Congress wore blue and yellow in support of Ukraine. Lawmakers stood and cheered for the Ukrainian ambassador to the EU, or to the U.S., who was seated with First Lady Jill Biden. Ladies. Chase, thank you very much.